my storybook world. The story I'm going to share with you today is about a very unusual character. We're going all the way to the rainforest for the story. And in the rainforest, we'll see lots and lots of animals. Can you spot an alligator? A monkey? Is there a sloth in the picture? And what about a lizard or a chameleon? There's one right at the top of the picture. And there's a parrot too. And he comes into the story. And so does a sneaky snake. Chameleons are amazing. They can change their colour. Here are some. Aren't they incredible? They're also very good at hiding. There's a chameleon hiding in this picture. I wonder if you can find him. I'm going to count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. There he is. Did you spot him? Here I am now and now I'm hiding. Here I am and now I'm hiding. Well, this is a story about a chameleon who can't change colour. How do you think he feels? Mm, I think he feels very sad. Let's listen to the story and see if he finds out how to do it in the end. It was early morning. The rainforest was as quiet as quiet could be. When the sun rose, all the creatures woke up. They yawned oh, and stretched and called to each other. Chameleon sat on his branch. He sat very still. He was waiting for something tasty for breakfast. A fly landed at his feet. Zap! Delicious! Yum, yum, yum! Chameleon caught the fly. He ate it up and down it went to his chameleon tummy. Wow! said the tree frog. That is amazing. But can you show me how you change colour? I'm sorry, Chameleon said sadly. I can't do it. The tree frog leapt away. Chameleon walked through the rainforest until he met Toucan. Hello, he said. Your beak is really beautiful. I know that I'm very special and very colourful, said Toucan, but I can't change colour like you. Show me how you do it. I'm sorry, said Chameleon, but I don't know how to do it. Oh dear! That's a pity, said Toucan, as he flew away. Chameleon walked on through the rainforest until he met a sloth who was hanging upside down on the branch of a tree. Sloth was excited. Chameleon, he said. Come here, show me how you can change your colour. How about you turn pink with yellow spots or black and white like a zebra? Oh, I wish I could, said Chameleon. I would love to be pink or purple or red or orange, but I'm green from the tip of my nose to the end of my tail. I'm just green, green, green. Sloth went back to sleep and soon he started to snore. That's very boring.
he said, Chameleon went on until he met Snake. Hello, Chameleon, hissed Snake. I have a secret. Come closer. I'll whisper it to you. Uh, no thank you, said Chameleon. I'm in a really big hurry. I can't stay. He knew that sneaky snake really wanted to eat him. On went Chameleon until he met Parrot. Oh my, said Chameleon. Your wings are so bright and colourful. Thank you, squawked Parrot. But why don't you show me how you change colour? I'm sorry, but I just can't do it, Chameleon replied very sadly. But you're a chameleon, squawked Parrot. You're a chameleon and you can't change colour. Ha ha, that is very funny. Parrot started to laugh and laugh and he flew away over the trees, laughing and laughing. Ha ha. Chameleon was angry. It's not nice to laugh at your friends when they can't do something, he said. And suddenly his tail turned red and then the colours spread and spread all over his body, all the way up to his head. Hooray, 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 cheered the other animals. Well done, Chameleon. You're a real chameleon after all. Chameleon looked at himself. His legs were purple. His tail was the reddest tail you've ever seen. His face was spotted with white and black and his scales looked just like a rainbow all the way down his back. Hip, hip, hooray! Just look at me! I'm the most colourful chameleon you'll ever see. And Chameleon was so excited that when he tried to catch the fly, his tongue missed and it spelt the word, wow! And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me again soon for another Early Years story. In the meantime, bye for now.